Dr. Wobblewood. It's a nice May night when we're recording this, and I'm Jerma. And I'm Papa Lama. And here is Sasha, our guest tonight. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Sasha, as everybody has said. And Jerma's really excited I get to be here tonight. Um, he's been really planning this for a while because he's he did definitely did not ask me last minute if I could if I could be a guest because he ran out of ideas. That's definitely not what happened. Yes, we, we, we definitely plan our guests far in advance. That's exactly how we operate. Okay, normally, normally I do. Normally I do. I just forgot that I needed to put together a guest. Okay? Okay. This, this podcast yeah, are... is so funny and chaotic, sure. and I do so little, but Jerma is working so hard to make I it I know. <laughs> I know he is. I'm it's just, awful. I just, I just got to rip the bestie, you know what I mean? So, anyways, glad to be here either way. There we go. And and we, we were trying not to have too much conversation before the actual podcast, but we have to bring it up now, especially following the episode where I, you know, we had the Southern discussion and part of that was the geography of the South, which also really was my excuse to shoehorn barbecue into the mix. But you and I were talking about the fact that Kansas has better barbecue than Texas, specifically beef barbecue. But yes. yeah, I, I, yeah, it's way better. Kansas City, like the Kansas City area, just the the sauce is just way more complex. It's way better. Um, it's not like just like sickly sweet or like way too vinegary or anything. And just like you can't you can't really beat it. I mean, you've got like these pits that are like literally 100 years old at some of these places. It's insane. Yeah, but it's amazing. I'm I so know. excited to go there in June. It's going to be great. Yeah. But, Even yeah, like yeah, but... really cruddy ones have like, you know ancient pits anyways yeah and you guys um, actually use spices as somebody who barbecues a lot yeah. like, this has driven me mad because these guys like god gave us a million spices he's just like <laughs> he was like we're gonna put spices all over the world and the texans were like well we're just gonna use oak and oak as the wood and we're gonna use salt and pepper and i'm like y'all are mm -hmm. boring boring kansas meanwhile is like well we make beef and we actually put flavor on it well yeah, yeah. you win like it's so and easy it's, to do yeah. that no, I think it's it's really interesting. I mean, like, I um, so like my family's from like Kansas City area, but um, I can't remember if we mentioned that or not. But I didn't actually like, go to a lot of like the the barbecue restaurants growing up, just because my stepdad would like smoke stuff in the backyard all the time. Like it, oh, it well, we that's just gonna be better than a restaurant to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, like... <laughs> we just ate so much. Well, we ate so much red meat when I was in high school, which is so funny because I barely ate red meat until like we moved down to kansas um and so it was just kind of like um just like 180 on all that like going from like eating fish and turkey bacon to... <laughs> but no it is i am i know i'm I, it's just but i am i am really it's something that i'm proud of and i also it's... like not because like as i personally do it no I, but it, it's just it's it's a cool it's a cool thing i mean you know kansas yeah City is just it's funny you bring it up uh... It's funny you bring up, by the way, the, the, the red meat aspect of it. So my father, Grandpa Llama, he told me that his father, Great Grandpa Llama, didn't even realize there was barbecue that wasn't beef until he moved to the Mid-South. Like, he, wow. it was like a totally a foreign concept. He was like, wait, they, they do what? It's not it's not beef. It's or you do something else like chicken. They were like, that's not a thing. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like always beef maybe some yeah. of the darker cuts of pork but he said it was always beef so it was just interesting i can't and i'm really so but i am really excited together you're gonna have to send me some good yeah. recommendations on shops because sure yeah we're doing an extended exactly. weekend we're gonna go and i I'm, we're like literally all i'm gonna eat for four days is barbecue yeah. and i'm in Perfect. kansas city and i'm so excited sorry to the to the commonwealth people here <laughs> absolutely i'm just sitting here i haven't gotten a word in at all I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not his fault, man. It, I don't know what it is. Actually, I do know what it is about barbecue. So the reason <laughs> we're the North doesn't have we're, – we're just going to go barbecue the way. The reason the North doesn't have as much barbecue is very specifically the ties between barbecue and estates or the very, very old school, you know, pre-Civil pre War slave trade yeah. because it was very and common to – Yep, it was very sl it was very common to cook the 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 nastiest yeah. toughest piece of meat, which took forever in giant pits, which is why they call them pits. Um, yeah. And 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 then feed. 
people, feed large groups of people with the cheapest meat you could. And it was the toughest piece of meat, which is why it takes nine to ten hours to cook something yeah. like that. Because you don't cook a steak for nine to ten hours. It's good after five minutes. Like, congratulations. Sure. So, but but up north, there that that culture didn't persist as long, so it didn't actually, it didn't. So the concept of barbecue didn't thrive there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess they kind of in Detroit too, but um looks like we've already spent five minutes talking about barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. Uh sorry for everybody listening, but yeah. Oh no, no, no. Well. They, they should they should, they're hopefully they're enjoying this. Alright, but I we, we will I will I will allow it to venture away. You know, Jerma <laughs> probably has some other fun topics since you guys are actually you've talked a few times. I've talked to you a whopping one time before this. So Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just I I um, what was going to say, I think I recommended to Jerma that like he should just ask me questions that I'm, he knows I'm going to have like the worst possible takes for, but <laughs> <laughs> so, he can, so he can roast me. But yeah, I don't know. The uh... oh man, I'm just I'm I'm a bit out of it for this episode. If you can do a uh, long work day for me. And, I'm um, sorry. We threw him for a loop. He had he had a long what do you, day. So. What do you do for work? Oh, oh he's not. I, I can't say. I can't <laughs> say. Maybe if you okay. guys figure it out, I'll let you know. Jerma's Jerma's a complete mystery unless you're an absolute buffoon like me who accidentally walks into and has the wrong reasoning for where Jerma lives, but you've got the location right. <laughs> that was, that that was, was my... so incredibly funny. You just walked into my DM one day, guessed correctly, and I was like, "Well, I can't lie to him." <laughs> wow! And then I was That's like, so I was funny. like, this is how I figured it out. Jerma's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're completely <laughs> wrong. You're an idiot. And and the worst what? thing is that it, that not only Papa Lama did that, other people did it too. <laughs> like only two people knew before it, it came out. After I utterly, oh man, what I did to Vintage. Was oh man, awful. was that, know, was that a DVC chat? Was that a DVC? Because that was. The that DVC. was a, yeah, yeah, that was a. Uh, I broke the rules. I'm gonna be banned now. But uh, that was um, that was one of the funniest things ever. Was watching like so like Jeremy wasn't involved and like Vintage was so close. She she was like walking on the right pathways and yeah. she was asking. He was like, so for the people who know, there's like this twenty question situation that happened. Vintage is asking, trying to like do twenty questions to get you know figure out where Jerma, what where he's from. And she's on the right path. She's so on the right path. And then Jeremy just like walks in like a wrecking ball. And he's like, Jerma is totally not Canadian. He's from the U.S. And it just ruined like poor vintage just got completely thrown off. Like she was walking down the right path and Jeremy just ruined it. I was like, this is a great. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the worst just... thing is that Jeremy, Jeremy, after they got it wrong, Jeremy had forced me to tell him the answer that else he would be on. well pick me and i told him and then he was like what that's evil that's machiavellian and then he was just oh fuming God. about it and eventually vintage put two and two together and jeremy confirmed it and i was just like well i think that <laughs> jerma lives in that one like castle thingy in toronto that's where he in my brain oh, he sits in a pile of gold in there and that's where he lives <laughs> And you know what? I if I never it. find out where Jerma lives, that's fine. I don't know. I feel like I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, hey, everybody, this is <laughs> this is where I live. But you don't need to talk about that. I definitely because live too many. This goes clues. on. This goes live, on. YouTube, I'm with you. So. I leave I leave yeah. too many clues on the internet on, on CDD. I've it's, it's way too many clues. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't, you know. But oh well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I but. Put, yeah. Um, made it um, harder to be mysterious for myself just like going into the server with like my actual name like just you know sasha i, I oh, and then i was okay. like oh maybe i should just like you know change it to something else um and by that point it was too late and that was like already only a few weeks in because i was already terminally online immediately so it yeah mm -hmm. i kind of i was being mocked early for the for the the five month time period for DVC, and they were right. I should be, I should, I should be mocked <laughs> for that, but it's fine. I don't know. So, so cool. did, you make, did you actually, are you actually a DVC? You made DVC in five months? Yeah, I made DVC in, so I joined in December, on December 23rd. I actually 
I was very sick because like I think the day before I had to sit in a chair because I had, I had a bunch of dental work. It was like five hundred dollars worth of dental oh, work. Um, and I was literally in that chair for four hours because mm. I was like, I can't get back here to get all this done. Can you please guys just like please just I don't care if you are working in between other patients, but I really just want to get this all done. So my mouth was like in a lot of pain. And so I just assumed that I was like, oh, I, you know, my mouth was open for four hours, but I, I guess I got sick um, and I was bored and it was in my, like my childhood bed, like fever dream. And I was like, Discord, uh, let me find a, a Catholic Discord server. Um, and there's only one server. So uh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Um, Unless you're French. But, there's, there's one random, there's a French one. And there's a, it's, it's a French. Um, but then, uh, yeah, so I guess I kind of just like became enculturated pretty, pretty quickly. And, but yeah, no, I think the, the, between uh, becoming novice and DVC, it was like, I became, I was novice for like four days before I became DVC. So mm -hmm. it was, it was, but How it was kind of funny what I did. Did you DVC? Uh, I think it was like maybe like three and a half, four months, but um, oh, that's impressive. Okay. It it took me almost a year, but that's because I, think, I was really yeah, sick. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, right. I also don't have children as well, so it's kind of. And my my job is like we're, we're we're in this we're in this slow part of my job, so it's yeah. pretty chill. But it took me about six weeks to get DVC. That's yeah. really scary. Because that's that's, that's 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 Germa for you. I I, I mean, I mean well, okay, so I have I, kids. It's I have other hobbies. I, I'm the I, I'm the one DVC that touches grass. I think now there are some DVCs that touch grass, I but touch I actually grass. touch grass. I touch grass. <laughs> wow. Not maybe not as much as I should. But no, I joined. Grass. I joined on December fourth, and I got, uh, and I got DVC on uh, January 29th. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, think it, I don't know. I, I think I, it's one of the fact that I joined the DBC ratio there was. However, I didn't keep track of that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, the I wasn't. Most messages in 2023. Sasha, your account, I didn't even realize your account actually fairly old. That's not bad. 2020, you and Germa. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, yeah. What do you mean? I just didn't know. I was looking at like how old the account was. So you joined in 2023. So you joined pretty. You you got DVC pretty quickly. I was trying to think of what yeah. would have been going on at the end of 2023. I don't even know because oh, you know what? That's why I've never met you. As soon as you or very rarely met you. Oh, you as went soon as Exodus. you joined, I did yeah. Exodus 90, and I was like, yeah, oh, that's yeah. exactly what happened. And then like, uh, I think the same thing happened with like Captain Nemo because I remember talking to like him quite a bit, and then he came back and he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? That happened with a, with a few people. The wildest yeah. thing was coming back and finding out that, like, certain people were back, certain people were banned or gone. And I yeah. was like, oh, no. I was like, what What happened? You, like, leave for three months, and you're like, what in the wild? Now, I, I will say, Jerma, I Jerma kept me a little up to date, like, on some of the things going in here, but, you know. I don't I think, think I could do Exodus 90. That's just, uh, it's, that's, yeah. a, that's a lot. But I understand why. It, well, it was, it was a lot, but um, yeah. I'll say... So if you, if you step away from the spiritual aspect of it, you know, if you take time and the spiritual aspect is important, but step away from that concept for a minute. But if you, so to say that you, you know, step away from certain habits that aren't inherently immoral or inherently bad yeah. for a long period of time, you're going to see which ones actually did have negative effects or kind mm -hmm. of cascading negative effects that you didn't think about. Right. So it yeah. was really useful in that way. You know, I've had, oh, yeah. uh, I'll out myself a little bit here. Like there was, um, getting away from, I, I I'm not an alcoholic, but I drink a few times a week, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, beer, wine, whatever. Not and, uh, here. yeah, yeah. But, um, when I got away from an excess 90, like I had, I've always, my family always has, has had hypertension and getting away from that. Like it was funny. It was like, Oh, congratulations. You don't have hypertension anymore. My doctor was like, what That's have awesome. you done? Yeah. I was like, well, I don't know. But like, it's uh, it's things like that. Like what happened? I slept more. I drank less. I exercised more. And all of a sudden, because I was, you know, drinking less or sleeping more, mm -hmm. things like that. So from, even if you just get away from it, it's, it's challenging, but once you get yeah. into the groove, you see the positives of it, and it's and I find personally that when you see th when things start to go well in certain aspects of life, it you be it becomes more motivating. So that it was a cool yeah. experience in that. I gotcha. Way. 
it's I tough actually, so in the beginning. I, I, I think partially, and this is kind of going back to how I became DBC so quick. So on like Valentine's Day, um, it, this is just like the place marker because, you know, that was also Ash Wednesday. And there were also some like, uh, you know, events, events that were happening. And I don't need to get super, super, super into that. But I just remember like, I got like, I picked a fight with somebody for like no reason, which, you know, I never do that. Um, um, <laughs> but just on, I, I just, just on Valentine's Day, no reason. <laughs> yeah, just no, 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 it, no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I was at a, I was at a basketball yeah, game, so that was pretty fun. Good. But um, I just realized I was like, this really isn't like being on social media is not serving me and like i can't believe i would talk to somebody else like not just somebody else but like you know another child of god like that and that just freaked me out so much and i i wasn't really sure what i was going to give up for lunch i think i was talking about that earlier i was like oh i'm gonna like you know i'm gonna go full like uh you know early byzantine fast you know and then i was like that's that's not what god's calling me to do and i you know i was like i know this seems really silly but i really think i just you know social media but i so for a while, it was, I had let myself see Reddit and then I got an argument with and I was like, okay, no Reddit. And then, but then I was like, okay, but I can stay on Discord because like, honestly, I know I'm like, are, I'm going to get banned if I like am actually mean to somebody. So it was kind of like a safe, like, like, all right, you know, I, I've got rules here, which was really helpful. And I think. Uh, and then when Easter came by, I like I was like I don't really want to be on social media anymore. And I think that part of it is like I just love meeting new people and like making friends and and stuff and being here. So and you know listening to to tunes with everybody else is also very fun and uh, participating in like Happy Arches twenty uh, four hour like Djibouti uh, national anthem marathon that was fun too. It, it's like it's very well, it's just. Um very social oh yeah um i think it was like it wasn't i want to say when it was like holy saturday that he was doing that oh my gosh <laughs> but, okay to I be, to be fair, that. he's not a, he's not a catholic so it's not like he was you know, going yeah, to, yeah. I want to say by the way, I I've heard I've seen through through the Padomiel or and all the camel stuff and whatnot. I've heard of uh, Djibouti, and I didn't real I knew like I thought it was a make believe country, but this no, is a funny story. I'm, I'm a oh, network and systems administrator, right? So, anyways, um, it was literally yesterday. I'm working on like redefining this company's anti-spam and anti-phishing policies and their through their uh, email filtering. And uh, if you just type a letter, it'll like begin to autofill all of the different places. So I type D. I'm like, okay, we got to make sure because they were getting some stuff they shouldn't be getting. So I type in D, and Jabuti shows up, and I was like, I, I was sitting there in my office, and I was like, <laughs> no, I was like, no. this place actually exists. I was like, I thought this was a joke the whole time. Hey, this was yesterday. I, <laughs> I can't believe that you gave me flack for bringing up Gabon coup d'etat. Which, mind you, it's still going well. Oh, right. Because, and this is what Papa Lama gave me flack for. Because, oh, people don't know what Gabon is. People don't oh, know where that yeah, is. I don't think, oh, I don't okay. think Sasha was <laughs> even a part of the server. Okay, Sasha, Wait, hold on. Huh? I, I, need to give, I need to give Sasha this. This is a, and, and for those people who are listening, all right, if we're going to bring oh, up a Gabon... So, there. Uh, so back when uh, German was alive, the first time to be on politics, he oh, posted a thread. I got to be there it was. The it was. Person. He posted a thread that was literally there is a random country in Africa that was having a coup. Which, by the way, is like half the countries in Africa do this. Oh come <laughs> on! Many <laughs> All right. Okay, we we can't get into it. But he posted his politics and like. I'm married to a woman from Kenya, so like I'm oh, yeah. more familiar than most people with the continent, and so I'm aware of it. But I know that maybe like three or four other people are aware of it. So my comments, I'm like, I'm like, thank you. Who is the actual Gabon politics expert on the server? And like me and this other guy named okay. Avery, we were just trashing. We spent like a good two dozen posts just like, okay, who knows about this? Who's the expert? And poor Germans wow. like trying to have a real conversation. And we're just dunking on the whole okay. situation. And, and, and to the point wow. that I think Creed and Hold on, Creed and jumps in. He's like, you need, he, he said something to the effect of like, Germa, I mean this in the nicest way possible, but you need to go outside. <laughs> and mind you, guy, mind you, guy. That day, that 
not the article I shared was front page news at Al Jazeera. Okay, it wasn't minor news. If you opened up the news, it was one of the first things you saw. And people are like, See, this is what makes German it being <laughs> weird about this. I was talking about relevant stuff at a relevant time, and I'm getting black. The mistake you made was all of the stuff leading up to that moment. <laughs> it wasn't that, mm. that, that particular topic in general. It was that moment. Like, all of the really nuanced, kind of weird like threads you'd create that were they were fun i enjoy them all but did you just let in the gabon and, and i'm sorry i had to be the first person to respond i was like okay who's the gabon's politic expert in here like who knows <laughs> <laughs> who is the gabon politics <laughs> and it was I, all down over there on uh, that thread i have gone back and read that thread more times than i care to, admit I need to go do every that. time i get a let i you should read it every time i get a laugh out of it like Obviously, so many of us are just joshing around, right? And and poor Germa is like, this is serious <laughs> business. He literally once at like, one point says like, I'm gonna come back and like mock you guys if France actually sends in the military. And we're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, yeah, no, so far, I, I don't really go. So far, France right. hasn't done anything, and the coup d'état really, gone well. Yeah, I don't really do anything in politics. I did make like an Armenia art talk forum because. Um, I, I was I was not I was told that I didn't belong in the, the Asia uh, hobby thread or whatever, and I was like, we're not European, is pretty much. I don't know. So I was like, well, politics is the best place. Oh, that's a great Armenian politics. That's definitely gonna go over well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So that's basically the only time I go in there, and then you know, sometimes snoop if, if things are if things are not looking. I can too good, but also it's it's pretty well handled by uh, I mean by like think, Ethan and Korean think, and Madeline, so I don't really I don't really I need to be people, in there. I think people give politics too much of a bad rap. It actually kind of I like the memes. There. The memes are really funny. I love the memes. The memes are uh, why I'm there. They're so funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the sort of thing where like the memes that either are the funniest thing ever or the biggest agenda post of all time. Yeah. But both, and, both, and they're both not are great. I love them both. Mutually <laughs> exclusive. They're I love not it. mutually like, exclusive. That's the important part. I love being in, like, parish hall, though, and, like, say people are talking about something, and, like, we've just got people who are very eager and, you know, really, really want to make this a great community. But, like, say it's, like, it's, like, something that's, like, not really controversial, but, like, people have not even, like, really strong opinions. I love just like how immediately people are like, politics, please go to politics. <laughs> I'm like, no, you okay. oh, You can stay here. They are really fast like, to jump on that. It was like I, a, I do understand oh, the fear of it though because I get like, it. No, it, it's yeah. such a it's it can be it can yeah. you some people you can have like a really friendly topic, but man, if one person or really friendly conversation, but if one person does not agree with you or they don't want to have a oh, friendly yeah. conversation, the whole conversation goes sour. So yeah, I, I get it. But yeah, I get it. But I can't remember who is. It was like uh, I can't remember what it was. It was like it was like uh, preferences for like wood stains or something, and it wasn't. Even a joke. I don't even know. I'd have to look, but I'm not going to dox everybody by preferences you know, them. Yeah, it was just it was very funny, and it's, I think it's one of those things where um, when you're on the server a lot, then you start to to see these these types of trends, but. Uh, oh, now you you have what you have one new mission, which is to go read the Gabon thread and tell me if it was absolutely I, I amazing. Will. It really was absolutely for sure. Wait, I'm for that. Oscar, here's a question for you. Here's a question for you. Of all the okay. trends you've noticed on CDD, which one do you dislike the most? The trends I've noticed. You, oh, you're asking Sasha. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, you can answer it well, Sasha. Thanks. I thought you said Papa, I... and I was like, me. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. So, uh, I don't know, Germapocalypse is pretty funny. Um, but that was, that was fun. Uh, that was, that was really funny. Uh, that was fun to kind of large as Germa for a day. Um, something I think is kind of cool. I like the cowboy arc thing that's like kind of coming around. Yeah. I think, um, um, I don't know. I think, I think that there were... I don't know what you mean by, by trends per se, but I think, oh, I think Skibbity, Skibbity Toilet. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Sasha, we'll 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 go back into this in a second, but this has been the best conversation that we've had on this podcast so far. This wow. Is <laughs> Thank you. I'm Dude, just, the most fun. I, I would say that I'm a I'm a I'm a decent conversationalist, but you know I also have flaws. You're, I also I think I think like, you flush out the duo here pretty well. You say that, Sasha. You say that. I joined the VC. First thing you said to me is, "Oh, Jermud's here. Why don't you entertain us?" <laughs> yeah. Dance for me, I, puppet. <laughs> Say the line, Bart. Say the line, Bart. I just think that's, that's uh, I don't know, which is so funny because actually I noticed pretty early on that, you know, everybody like does clown drama for bad takes, but I actually agree with like most of his takes, which I think is very scary. That's the thing. People Wait, say I, I have people... a bad take, but that's because. I'm confused. All right, this I is something I'm going to rant that. about now. No, people yeah, say well, that I have bad can... political takes. But the reason why no, they I say think... that is because they don't know any of them. They're they, like they cannot name one of my political views. They cannot. Your, your, they just your say problem bad. Isn't and when I ask them to say political hey. takes is that you don't let other people have fun. Like the memes. Okay. I used to joke oh, I used to joke you would when, when 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 he would be involved, he would like require people to write like a doctoral thesis on the in the defense of their meme. And I'm like, no 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 no, it's just a meme. Let the it's man Socratic. post the code. But I'm I'm a political like, compass meme game, so I'm like just, just funny color, funny color. Let the man post funny color. <laughs> I, I, like I, he doesn't I, I need to wanna, defend it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to dox like uh, the priest on there, but I the one of the priests that's always like, no, I, I like I'm gonna make this a Socratic uh, Socratic <laughs> style conversation. That's I, I kind of like that. I don't know. I think it's it's more it's more interesting, and I think also it is it is important to you know, step outside of your comfort zone and, and question, you know, why you do think the, the things you think, because I think that's how you, you know, mm -hmm. it, not saying questioning like the magisterium or anything. I just want to make that clear. I'm just saying like questioning don't your question own them. preconception. The heretic getter. I'm not a heretic. No, you're right, though. You're, you're, you're right, by the way. That's been, that's been lost in this, uh, in our current, as, as far as the yeah. Western goes, our current society yeah. is the ability to Talk to people who disagree with you, especially you politically, Whoa. while also because remaining. Cell phone. <laughs> well, I, I mean, the thing cell phone, but I would just say that it's important. It's important to have people who are. It's very important to have people who are like friends. People who are friends or friends yeah. who aren't like just like you, right? You, you've got to have yeah. those worldviews. You've got to have those different things because you're gonna engage those people. Obviously, it shouldn't contradict, and you should be strong in your core beliefs, yeah. dogma of the church, things of that nature. But it's good to have those because even if like you disagree with someone, having that discussion is gonna help you create a more sound opinion, a more you know you're gonna feel stronger, more confident about that. Or if you're wrong. And it take you know, and these these yeah. discussions with friends usually go on for a period of time, not just one day, not just one event. You're gonna you're gonna you're going to grow. So, anyways, it's a weird situation where in this current world you can't have those discussions because people will just cast you aside yeah. because you automatic you're different you you have a different opinion. It's like, well, that's not how the world's supposed to work. It's not how humans work in general. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Complex oh, this is, is this not is, this, is a, this is a germ moment. This is a germ moment. I, I was reading this romance with this romance story. <laughs> and I was, all right, all right, this is, this is, this is gonna, people are going to make fun of me for this, but I'm going to say it. So I was reading this romance story, and it was about like Romeo and Juliet style, uh, noble lo lovers feuding, yada yada, vying for the crown. And it was wonderful, and it was, everything was going perfectly. It was an amazing story. And then it got to the climax, and the, uh, the shotgun wedding, wedding is happening for the crown, yada yada. And then, one of the main characters stands up on the uh, pulpit and just said, you know what, guys, maybe monarchy is bad. And then everyone goes, yeah, monarchy is bad. And then they end the monarchy. And that's the end of the story. And I did not sign up for that. I am so tired of this. And I, I wanted I wanted my noble moment. That's what I wanted. That's what I signed up for when I opened that story. That's not what I got. And then it ended up being democracy. Woke politics. Yeah, this, it's yeah, because we do not need democracy in this. 
I want my, my gosh. I show you. I'm with you, by the way. I'm line. totally, I, by the way, I am totally with you on like setting proper expectations for your media of choice. <laughs> uh, so, slightly different, but in the similar vein, I went to see Batman vs. Superman, which was an awful <laughs> movie. I love that movie. You know, I love that movie. I, just love that I that wanted to see. No, no, but, 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 but. Germa had this, uh, this so so. Germa had this append, this this thing. He wanted to see this beautiful mo or read this beautiful book. He wanted to read this, but not even beautiful. Let's just say it was a book. He wanted to read a book, a love story. But he would like enjoyed the monarchy, and then it, it just it did terribly. Like they they basically were like, and and what he came to enjoy, he didn't get to enjoy. It's important to do that. Whether the the book is or the media yeah. is good or bad is in, improper. Same with this movie. I went to watch Batman vs Superman. All I wanted to see was Batman punch Superman in his stupid face. Superman is my least favorite comic book hero of all time. And that's, that's what I got me. to see. It's, it's, received, it's received criticism from everybody across the world. I don't care. I got to see Batman wear a kryptonite suit, a kryptonite suit and punch Superman repeatedly. That's all I wanted to do. Like, yeah. So sometimes you just have to have the proper, as a person who's making this story, proper expectations. That's all I'm saying. You just want, you know, it, don't you want to see like the, the Godzilla versus King Kong <laughs> of, of, of um, the DC cinematic universe, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, yeah. I, 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 that kind of happened with the, the, the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, when he ends up in like the alternate, I'm not gonna like talk too much because also this was a terrible movie, Whoa. terrible movie, very gross, very gory. Oh, like, you can like terrible hey. things. That's allowed. No, I don't yeah. like it though. Oh, I thought no. it was a bad movie. Period. Like it, 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 these were, I know they're not mutually like these concepts are not mutually exclusive to get to each other, but it was just not my favorite movie. It was just and it was gross. Uh, but they're like, oh, we're in this alternate universe. Here are all like these like you know these alternate universe like story like a. Uh, Superheroes. We're going to introduce them. We're going to take a really long time, and then we're going to spend like the next two minutes just like a mid, like it just uh, Scarlet Witch just immediately kills them off. And I'm like, so then why did why did you do that? And it wasn't even like a funny exposition. Like you would have maybe like Deadpool. It was like just it, like there was no actual like comedic like uh, uh, timing yeah, yeah. to it. It was just yeah. like why did you do that? So. Um, I'm also not a DC fan at all. I would I would rather do a lot of things than, than willingly watch a DC movie. Um, so, all right. Uh, so, 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 so I'm going to go this a bit farther. Did you did are, uh, did you ever read any, read any comics, or are you just like the like a movie I, person? I I read a few of the comics. Like, I got really into like the Scarlet Witch comics. I actually have uh, okay. an anthology of like her and uh, Vision. Um, it's like a quite a few different like from across like the, the different types of series um yeah. and one of my my cousin owned a comic store for a short period so i remember i was like kind of into comics and I, like, i've read like you know the wikipedia pages so i have like a okay knowledge of like the the comic book lines of things but i wouldn't say that i'm like constantly reading them i sometimes I, i'm like oh i should do Great comic book store near me, and I think it'd be fun to get into that and, like, you know, go pick up my comics every week. I'm very into like that physical media sort of thing, like, you know, collecting cassettes and, and doing that. I had a home phone for a second, so that would be a very me thing to do, but I don't know. I just haven't really gotten back into it, but nice. um, yeah, so I did. I think I would say that like WandaVision was like excellent, but I haven't then seen all, WandaVision Marvel, yet, but the I've Marvel series kind of fell off of that. And honestly, like Falcon and the Winter Soldier was good too. Um, I think that I think that the superhero format needs to be moved back to the serialized format of like a weekly television or like streamed show. I think the movie has mm -hmm. run its course in that in that respect because that is just the narrative form that it. It's I would completely yeah. agree That's with you. Way you thought, sure, it, the this, question. What's up? Uh, what did you think of Agents of Shield? I didn't see Agents of Shield. Okay. Oh, I I did see. I, I did watch it. all of Agent Agent Carter was really good. Well, so actually, Agents of Shield technically isn't even canon um, because what? of how it was just. You know, it's not canon because also because the I'm blanking on the name right now, but oh, Agent Coulson because he Whoa. he died in the main series, so it's not it's not canon. Whoa. It's um, uh, yeah. That's that's all. I mean, it's also just a lot. I, I didn't watch it. Uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait, I'm Googling it. 
it, it would be kind of like a retcon that he didn't die. Sasha, he, Sasha just uh, gave like outed herself by using the term "it's not canon." Well, we use canon as Catholic. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, God. yeah, yeah, yeah but not really, not, really not that I'm, Not that I'm disagreeing with this because I asked the question originally, even though it's kind of gone sideways from here. That I'm at, I was originally a DC. I read a lot of comics growing up. You know, and, and even as an adult, so so I was originally like I'm a DC Comics fan, and one of the, I guess like either you could either see it as a negative or a positive is that they've never translated well to media to television, or people have not been able to do them well. But I do love DC Comics a lot more than I love Marvel Comics, and it's not that I dislike Marvel Comics. There's plenty of good ones, but DC has always done a uh, a much better job with the actual storytelling. But uh, they they don't they don't do as well of a job with the characters, which seems to be what translates to television. I think that the Marvel things is that um, I think that the the character backstories tend to be like a little bit more not diverse in terms of like uh like the the I necessarily, um, but like in terms of like they like very different like very different cultures very different like backgrounds ideas um and i think that to me the dc characters feel just a little bit like two-dimensional in that regard yeah but, yeah yeah and some of yeah, them getting... some of them were bad you know <laughs> superman's a bad character he's a bad character i would i just honestly he's a bad character it was a bad it was one of the original ones but it was a like it, like it just doesn't stand the test of time so you know, what can you do? If if I wanted yeah. to, if I wanted to start a fight right now, I'd point out that Superman did cheat this allegory. But well, we got Jerma, you can start a fight with literally like anything. It could be yeah, like the grass can. is green. Let me start a fight. He's gonna be like, well, actually, right. uh, that's just like the way that chlorophyll re refracts light, and we'd be All like, right, oh guys, my we're, goodness, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. It, it's too late in the night. We've, we've gone on too long. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you guys it. so we are much for putting for... an end to it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank for you very much for being us. here, Sasha. We no, thank you guys. I'm again. very, of course. That'd be great. I'll, I'll check my schedule because you know I'm very busy and I, you know. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah, we, we. I would love to have you back. This has been an extremely fun. I'm glad show. you guys are. This so has fun. been a great podcast. Yeah. Watch yeah, us. Guys... Watch us. Not find a guest. For the next guest episode and just Sasha part two. Um, if, if, we have, really... if we have to bring Sasha back, we're just gonna make it permanent. Welcome to the trio. Wafflewood's now three people, including one of the mods. Like you're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, okay. Well, let's let's hope that's not the case. But I, uh, all right. Well, anyways. Right. Right. Can I? Am I good to hang up? Oh, okay, good night, guys. All right. Bye, guys. Yep. Thanks very much for being with us, Sasha. And on that note. I'm Jerma. And I'm Papa Lama. Have a great week, guys.